Hey guys, it's your girl Rhoda Eats and today I'm going to show you a simple, easy, delicious favorite of the kids recipe for a pizza dough. So I'm just going to start off with my warm water and I'm going to just proof the yeast up so I'm using a package of active dry yeast and I'm also going to add some olive oil into that and set it aside now I want you guys to always remember that the exact measurements are in the description I always leave the measurements in the description so have no fear Rhoda is here with the measurements so you have them there and all you could do is just follow along with what I'm doing so now I'm just going to add my flour I'm using all-purpose there are people who use um, double zero flour and uh, bread flour whatever I just use a straight up plain all-purpose flour that's what I have it works it never fails so yeah you just use what you have with this one now for the salt I put it into the flour and I mix it up really really well because at least the yeast would have proofed in the cup over there I know people that add the yeast and the salt and everybody you know together I just like to do it this way it makes for best rising so here I am making a well and I am going to slowly incorporate the wet and the dry so I am just making a well adding the liquid and bringing it together and I'm doing my best to ensure that every flower every dry spot has at least come in contact with some of the liquid that will stop me from putting too much in there and again it's all sciencey sometimes you need more water than you um, have prepared and sometimes you need less so I'm just working along with what I have here I'm going to start working the dough and you are going to see me kneading the dough and bringing it all together now if you try this this dough will be on the stickier side that's exactly what we want and not sticky as you can't get it off your hand it's more of a sticky where it's super soft and gentle and amazing and that's exactly what we want so don't be afraid if the dough isn't tougher so here I am I'm just using my fingertips and my knuckles to knead the dough that is my favorite way to knead I can do it in a bowl in any small area and please guys make sure your hands are clean <laughs> don't be just putting your hands all in the dough so yeah with clean hands I'm just bringing it together and you're gonna see the consistency and the stickiness <laughs> that I'm talking about Occasionally, I do add the tiniest sprinkle of flour because, again, I don't want it to be a tough dough. I want it to be well put together but still have that sticky softness to it. So that's why I'm just being so careful when I add extra flour. So if you watch carefully, you'll be able to see exactly what uh, we should all be looking for with this dough. 
it doesn't take too much it took me about uh, nine or so minutes to bring it together every dough I make <laughs> it always takes me about 10 minutes to bring together so that's just what I'm doing I'm just making sure that it's well put together and as you can see it's still soft and has this uh, when you feel it yourself it has this stickiness to it but it's not sticking to my hand like it was in the beginning and that's how you know your dough is well together and ready for resting so when I'm done with this I just oil the bowl and the dough that stops it from sticking in the bowl and also stops it from forming um, too much of a crust because I won't be putting anything on the dough so I'm just gonna cover it with a, a dish towel and I'm going to put it into my warm oven and I left it there for three hours okay you could just leave it there until the dough doubles in size um, it was pretty late at this point so I did end up putting it in the refrigerator overnight after I sectioned them off so yeah when I made the actual pizzas it was the other day because again it was a bit too late so I didn't continue I just left it there overnight and that's perfectly fine a lot of Italian pizzerias do leave their dough to proof overnight and it gives it this delicious developed flavor that we all know and love so you know it won't do anything if you leave it and here I'm just showing you the texture and the softness of the dough so that you can see all right please remember that the measurements are in the description box for you I'm not skimping out on you at all with that so here I am just forming a ball I'm using flour on my hands just so that it doesn't stick and I am just pulling and tucking I pull the dough and I tuck it over to the bottom and this helps to develop the bubbles and the air pockets that we love inside of a dough so that's just what I'm doing there and I'm gonna put it on wax paper on a cookie sheet cover it with some plastic wrap to make sure that the plastic wrap is touching the dough and leaving it overnight <laughs> cornmeal but I put it there just to help me um, to keep the dough from sticking onto the surface and I just like a little bit of cornmeal in the bottom of my dough I do not use a rolling pin to roll my dough out so I just use my hands it's so soft the dough it's so soft and pliable that I'm able to use my fists to stretch it so I just use my fists and I rotate 
the dough and at this point I'm like wait I don't have a pizza pan so I just end up using my regular cookie sheet I use olive oil uh, on the bottom and guys I did leave this pan in the oven while it was heating up so this pan was pretty hot okay and this makes my crust nice and crisp and here I am just trying to fit my dough into the pan and this is my favorite pizza sauce the Prego brand and it's literally uh, pizza sauce it says it on the label so I just spread it and here you could add your toppings this I added some sauce of course the mozzarella some red and orange peppers a bit of onions and pepperoni so that's what I did there for this pizza I'm not a fan of uh, pizza crust I you know I just like a nice flat pizza but if you want you can definitely form a crust okay these pizzas were meant to be smaller pizzas so uh, you the four dough balls that I had were just for four medium pizzas and if you just make it two obviously it will be two large pizzas and you can use any pan you have as you can see after I realized that hey why am I forming this into a circle I don't have a pizza pan I just you know you just work what you have and that's what I love about pizza you can make it in your cast iron skillet you can make it in your cake your round or square rectangle cake pans you can do anything you want and it will always be delicious I do have the habit of heating my pan up so that way while I'm doing this the pizza bottom the bottom of the dough is already getting all crispy and delicious okay and yeah so I'm just gonna get that in the oven it takes minutes for this to make you pull it out when the dough around the edges is the color that you want it to be and bam that is it the lighting of course is bad I don't have uh, <laughs> windows for natural light in my kitchen so in the end I did put a few pictures of the end result in the lighting just so you can see exactly what everything looks like because I find that my lighting was pretty bad over this um, in over my island that I used to film so I hope you enjoyed this video this dough is delicious you can make calzones with it you can make um, bread yes you can okay you can make bread sticks there's so many things you could do with this dough I really hope that you enjoyed this video please enjoy the pictures at the end and don't forget to like this video and subscribe and let me know down in the comments below what your favorite pizza topping is I'm a uh, half pineapple and chicken I know some people are gonna drag me people say pineapple doesn't belong on pizzas I get it but I'm team pineapple on pizzas what team are you on are you team pineapple on pizzas or you know I guess I will understand why people don't understand it but it's absolutely delicious anyways enough of my rambling are you team pineapple on pizzas or not what um, is your favorite pizza topping let me know down in the description box and if you're not subscribed please subscribe I have great content easy amazing recipes that everyone will enjoy I always get all good feedback because I work very hard on everything that I do anyways thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video oh. See ya.